How are you? Today, after three or four months, I finally shaved. Ah! 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 The feeling is awesome. Well, I gave myself a few cuts, but ah, the risks of shaving. So today, we shall discuss shaving. Shaving is the removal of hair by using a razor or any kind of bladed implement to slice it down to the level of the skin. Shaving is most commonly practiced by men to remove their facial hair and by women to remove their like and underarm hair. A man is called clean shaven if he has his beard entirely removed. Yes. So first of all, I would like to say that shaving shows that you have uh, good hygiene uh, and uh, yeah, especially the uh, um, the armpits, uh, you do need to shave them because... Oh. <laughs> because they smell bad if they aren't shaven. Yes, they do. Both men and women sometimes shave their under cheek hair, chest hair, abdominal hair, and of course, last but not least, like hair, underarm hair, public hair, or any other bodily hair. Hair shaving is much more common among men. It's often associated with religious practice, the armed forces, and some competitive sports, such as swimming, running, and extreme sports. It has become common for men with partial baldness. Just like my dad, he has hair over here, over here, some hair over here, and some hair over here. So yeah, he's bald, but he hasn't shaved his head yet. Well, he should now. So you're probably asking yourself, wow, how did people shave before razors were invented? Well, before the invent advent of razors, hair was sometimes removed using two shells to pull the hair out. Later, around 3000 BC, when copper tools were developed, copper razors were also invented. The idea of an aesthetic approach to personal hygiene may have begun this time, though Egyptian priests may have practiced something similar to this earlier. Great people also shave. For example, Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great strongly promoted shaving during his reign in the 4th century BC to avoid, as he likes to call it, dangerous beard grabbing in battle, and because he believed it looked dyar. Ah! Hey, fool! Release my hair, you stupid person! Ah! Release it! Uh, God damn you, asshole! Release my hair! Release it! I Ninety uh. percent of the American man over the age of fifteen shave. That means over ninety-four million Americans shave over the age of fifteen. With seventy-five percent of them shaving daily. The average 15 to 20 year old shaves 275 times per year while shaving frequency rises to almost daily for a man aged 20 or 65. To sum up, I would like to say that um, you should shave daily uh, because it's a sign of a good uh, hygiene. And uh, also, uh, if you're a woman and uh, have a boyfriend, uh, it's uh, good to shave uh, your legs and armpits uh, because, um, you know, I guess that like 50% of the men shave their armpits and 50% don't. And uh, a lot of men don't shave their feet, but uh, 
women should shave their feet because if you know if your boyfriend doesn't uh, hair fetish or something like that uh, then I guess uh, he'll be disgusted by the hair on your legs the jungle so yes goodbye now and I would like to so thank you, and I would like to say to write, comment, subscribe, of course, of course you should subscribe, watch another video, rate another video, comment another video, and shave regularly.